Well, howdy folks. I did a video earlier on the general markets. I thought I'd do a quick one, a shorter one, just focusing on natural gas. This is the longer picture on the NYMEX Henry Hub price. And you can see we're still in this channel. I used the uh, trading view tool to make these channel lines and they're way better than when I make them myself. And you can see this channel is actually pretty neat. We're just moving down to the bottom of this channel and we had a gap below us and a gap above us. You can see this on this chart as well. There's the gap below us. That was the rollover gap. And then we had this weekend gap over here. So, well, the gap between today and yesterday really is sort of start of day gap. And that's where we are at the moment. So we're still in this channel. This green line is a dividing line between the lower range, the $2 to $2.50 range, and the higher range, the $2.50 to $3 range that we're in now. My proposition is that we've broken up into this higher range. And we should try to continue to trade within this level. And the bottom of this level is at around 250. Now, when we look at the shorter term chart, you'll see that 250 to 255 is the bottom of the gap that we be focusing on. We've got a gap above us and a gap below us. I think we might have to fill both these gaps, but we'll see how it goes. But overall, this is pretty neat. I'm aiming for the, for the top of the channel. I'm aiming for... $3.15, the top of this channel. I think we might get through $3 sometime in the coming days, perhaps before the end of this month or well, in the next week or two. But I think if we, even if we break up through $3 and hit $3.15 or so, we might pull back from there and continue to trade within this broader channel. You can see it's a very long lasting, drawn out, very boring channel, endless in fact. And we're heading down towards the lower part of it, but We've got really good support beneath us. So that's where it is. Roll over just for FYI. It's on the 27th of September. So we've got a long time to go before we roll into the next contract. About three weeks or so. So yeah, just over three weeks. We've just actually had a rollover. So if we have a look at the four hour chart, this will sort of zone us in into what we're doing. I said on the previous video, we're in this sort of island with a gap below us. The bottom of the gap is about 255. And the gap above us here, top of this gap is about 275. And we're in this island. Looks like we're just probing lower. Although, yes, we've just poked into this gap now as we speak. That red channel line that I've got drawn on there is not accurate compared to the daily chart channel line that I've got on the NYMEX Henry Hub price. So we can actually just pull this down a bit. And OK, this is a four hour chart and it's a different broker. It's different pricing altogether. But you saw it on the daily chart. And there's our target way up above us at around 315 where that green arrow is. Sorry about all the fidgeting with the chart. So we're aiming for there somewhere through $3 up to 315. So I think what we're going to do today is probably probe around this lower channel, the bottom of this gap around 250. If we got down to 258, so not far away, and then begin to rally and then try and fill this gap above us around 275 and then perhaps start probing up towards that $3 level. So I'm long 266. My hedge point is 239 below this low here and below this overall separation dividing line between the upper and the lower range. And we'll have to see how it goes. It's been a really long drawn out process trading natural gas this year. As you will all know, it's become quite tedious and uh, quite exhausting, really, even though it hasn't entailed an awful amount of energy. But we've done quite well. We've been buying at the bottoms and exiting at the tops for the most part. And every time we've got down, we've started to buy and we sort of exit near the top. And that's the way we've traded this so far. And I think we'll continue continue to do so as this channel starts to edge higher above three dollars into 315 the ultimate target is somewhere up around about here around three dollars fifty that's this band here and if you saw my previous charts on natural gas you'll see this is where we start to get into the slightly more expensive band before we hit uh, Saks Fifth Avenue right at the top there and the dollar store right down to the bottom in this green part. We're in the middle of this sort of range right now. But once we start getting above $3, natural gas is no longer cheap. Bear that in mind. Take care. Have a great trading day. I'll speak to you soon.